All right, what is up guys? Okay, so for this video, I'm gonna be doing my J. Scott Campbell books. I've been wanting to do this for a few weeks um, and I've been trying to get together a bunch of books to make this video pretty decent. Um, a lot of the books, I'm gonna say half of the books that I have, I've had for several years since they came out of the newsstands. Um, I'll tell you which ones those are when they come up. And then I got an unboxing to do. It's probably my most valuable slash rarest camel book and then uh i got some books that i picked up from campbell personally and very few signatures i'm not a huge signature guy but if i was he'd be the one other than signature series i got a couple signature series books but yeah don't really like getting the books signed without being signature series i don't know why but yeah campbell's camels are okay to me so um so i will get started these are books that I bought off the shelf back in like 1994-ish. Actually, the convenient thing about Campbell's, he puts the date, or he used to anyways, I don't know if he still does, but he puts the date at the bottom. So this came out in 94. Uh, but, yeah, I gotta put these things in Mylar's too because these bags are all beat up. And these have been gently read one time by this guy. So, let me break this thing down a little bit. Sorry for the uh, the movement. All right, cool. Um, so that's number one. And that's number two. That's number three. Let me go ahead and take the autofocus off. One second, I gotta... Gonna get it zoomed out to the book and then take the autofocus to manual focus. Okay. Now we gotta stop zooming into my face. So, number five. Number six. Yeah, these look so much better in uh, Mylar's. Number seven. And back when Campbell was doing these books, he was also doing the artwork on the inside. This is back before he was covers only. And it goes from number number eight, number nine, and number fourteen. So I got a little hole in that run. Well, back then I was a broke little kid. I was only like 11, 12 years old or something like that. Um and then I got these recently at uh, Daytona Beach Comic Con. All right, so this is another copy of number one. That was my original copy in the old poly bag. And then the Mylar. That's a different book. What a dumbass. <laughs> Anyways, that's number one. I think I have a couple of those. Let me pop out this one. Here's the one. So the Mylar just makes it look better in my opinion. It's almost like a, a haze to this one. This one you can see the light really well. Yeah. Very nice looking book. All right. And then uh, 13, number one again. One of the uh, variants. They had a lot of number ones for Gen 13. Back in the 90s, they were going crazy with the variants. This is, uh, this is J. Scott Campbell's signature from 1993. He used to write J. Scott Campbell. See, compared to this one, that's his signature from 95. I just wrote Campbell 95. 93, right out his full name. That's the uh, Gen 13 Encore. And then this one's from 1994. That's one of his more familiar signatures, wherever it's at, right? Oh, right there. Uh, this is a book that I had in my collection since about 2008, I think. This was done in 06. 2008 sounds about right. Ish. Seven or eight. Um, I sent it in. Campbell stuff. When you buy it from, personally from Campbell and from his website, 9 is a pretty common grade. Uh, his books are super sharp. Usually, typically. Um, I also have this in a sketch cover, I'll show you later. 
but I like the color version, so I sent that one off to be graded. I don't have too many of his books graded, like maybe six. My favorite ones. Um, this one is up there in my top probably 10 favorite Campbell covers. It's got Thor, Valkyrie, and the Enchantress. And I think this is the uh, Long Beach Comic Con. I think this is limited to like 1,500 copies. Maybe 2,500, 1,500 or 2,500. Very cool cover. Um, this is a book that I bought from his website. I sent it in to get graded. It's one of my favorite covers. Very beautiful. Very beautiful artwork. I guess I can leave one right up. So you got something to look at. Um, next one. It's a uh, all new Wolverine number one, the Campbell cover. This book, it's the cargo hold, and it's the first Laura Kenny as the new Wolverine. Um, it's also a very cool cover. Um, next, next, next. This is the uh, Jetpacks Edition version cover. I think they call this one the Bang Boat copy, or the Bang Boat cover. It's got a uh, place for some sketch in the back. But, uh, I have another one of these books that's unslabbed. Most of my Campbell books, like 99% of them are 9.8s, 9.9s, 10s, real hot, maybe 9.6s, but most of them are super crisp. Uh, first appearance of Hope Summers, X-Men 205, yeah. It's a very cool book. Very desirable at high grade. Um, yeah, so there's my slabs. Start stacking them up, I guess. Um, it was a 60, 606, Amazing Spider-Man 606. I got this one. Uh, this was a variant. I think the regular cover was all color, if I'm not mistaken. But I bought this geez, when it came out. I think it was 05, 06. Maybe no, couldn't have been no, it couldn't have been that long ago. Cause yeah, I was in California. Maybe oh nine, oh eight or oh nine, oh ten. Ah, yeah, I don't remember. Had it for a while. Bought them off the shelf. That one and this six oh seven. Very cool books. Um, John Carter's Warlord of Mars. Very cool Campbell cover. One thing about Campbell covers is Campbell is known for doing female characters. So I want to try and collect all of his male characters um, just because they're not as sought after and they're cheap. And uh, one day, since they're not as desirable now, maybe they'll be later. Maybe people won't take as much care of them. I don't know. It's a dumb theory. Um, next is my Mrs. Fury number one. Um, this is a Dynamic Forces book. It's got the uh, certificate on the back. This is uh, one of my more rare books. There's only 375 of these that exist of the uh, Virgin copy. So 375 is a low print run. And I believe you can actually get this book on Midtown right now for about 20 bucks. So, super low print run of a Campbell book. Gotta have it. Especially for that cheap. Um, Wildsiders number two. I think uh, Wildsiders was supposed to be like a five part series. I think maybe six if you include number zero. And it was uh, canceled after the third issue or second issue. Issue. I think zero, one, and two was the last one. I think this was the last one. If I'm not mistaken. Um, Thor number five. 
This is a very cheap Campbell book. You pick this up for not much, maybe like five bucks or so, but uh, it's a cool book. Um, this is, I bought this in from Midtown, but the rest of them are Midtown books, but I got them from conventions over the years. Uh, Superior Spider-Man 31. These make up a puzzle too. Amazing Spider-Man number 1.1 and Amazing Spider-Man number one. And uh, get these guys back out of the way. Cool. I probably could just put a snap shot of the uh, video of the picture to make it easier, but I think that's right. Maybe. I don't know. Can't tell. So anyways. Ninja Girl Revolver. I'm missing. I got a number four and number two cover A. I'm missing number one, I think. Or three. I think number three. I think number one is a combination of the three girls, but I'm missing, uh, missing the middle one there. So those are pretty cool books. Really like that uh that character there. Nicely drawn. Um the next ones are Danger Girl Trinities. There's that character with the uh, bow again. I think that's Abby Chase. And uh can't think of her name. those three covers. This one came in a little bit lower condition than I was expecting. It's a nice filler copy for now. So that's those three. Pretty cool covers. Not very expensive. Um, the next ones are my X-Men Gold. Um, we got cover A, cover B, and cover C. I think they're like limited to 1,200, 2,200, and 3,200-ish. 3, I got the exact numbers written now somewhere. I'll uh, post it at the bottom. Somewhere. One of the two bottoms. Uh, the X-Men Blue set. Number one. Cover A. Cover B. And cover C, the version cover. I got the... Uh, Amazing Spider-Man 25 set. Got the uh, the Virgin cover, and then uh, cover A and B also. Um, get out of there. Run to the table room here. Okay. Next, I got. Bought these a while ago. Amazing Spider-Man 15. Um, the uh, Iron Jane covers. These things sold out very quickly. Um, yeah, I bought this set right when they came out. I usually buy the Campbell stuff. Like I'll set an alarm and then buy them right when they come out. But uh, these came with certificates, even though they're not signed. And I think he stopped doing that. Um, Swords of Sorrow, number one. Pretty nice cover. X-Men, number one. Midtown cover. Um, surprised I don't have this one in a mylar. This has been in my collection for quite a while. Probably 06 I bought this. Actually, I know I bought this in 06. I bought this at uh, LA Comic Con, Los Angeles Comic Con, back in 06. Um, the Electra set that recently came out. Cover A, cover B, and cover C. It's those three. 
Very nice. Um, my Army of Darkness. I actually have another Army of Darkness book that's not with this one. I don't know. Where is that? Or why am I out of order? Where are you at? There we are. That's uh, the preview. It's Dynamite number one preview book that came out a long time ago. And then I had these. I think I paid like $3 for that one, maybe 4 for that one, and 3 for this one back when they first came out. Now I think to buy the... Um, like the Encore one that just came out for the Army of Darkness Zero, I think it's like 40 bucks or something. So I don't know what these are worth now. To me they're priceless, because I'm not a flipper. So yeah, that's those books. I really like the, uh, his rendition of, uh, of Ash from Army of Darkness. Um, another book that I've had for a long time, since about, it says 08, I probably bought this right when it came out. Um, this is a Michael Turner Tribute, J. Scott Campbell did Fathom. It's a really nice looking book. Um, Hero, I really want to get the rest of the set. This is the only Hero book that I have. Um, these aren't very expensive. So sometime in the near future, I'm gonna be looking to get these because they're really cool covers. Um, the Emerald City Comic Con Spider Gwen. It's a very cool Campbell cover. Um, my Invincible Iron Man number one, the Riri regular cover. I don't know what I do with my other one. Thanks, Doom 143. Got him out of order. I don't know where I put that thing. It's probably in the other pile of books somewhere. Uh, let's keep the train going. Get out a stack of books. Keep these together. Be cool. All right. Campbell's work from '97. Cliffhanger preview book. Um, Gen 13, that's the uh, sketch copy to the color one that I just showed you. So when I bought these two Gamora books, um, something happened. Like I didn't have reception or something wherever I was at when my alarm went off. And when I got the reception, they were already sold out of the three piece set. So I wound up getting the two. And then uh, I got this one at Megacon from Campbell's booth. So I think I paid a little bit more than I normally would have. I think it was like 60 bucks. I think for the whole set I would have paid 80-ish. But I really wanted to complete the set. And uh, I was able to look at the book in person, so I went for it. Um, oh, I was number one. This is a cool wraparound cover, but uh, it's in the Mylar. Um, Wonderland number one. I got the uh, three different books. The regular cover, the sketch cover, and the Comic-Con International exclusive version cover. It's not really a version cover. What is the difference between this one and this one? Oh, the dress, black and blue. I've also picked up these two books from J. Scott Campbell's booth. These things, I'm fairly sure I can get nine nines out of these books. These things are so sharp. I mean, nine eight would be bare minimum for these books, but it's uh, yeah, it's that set, the Wonderland. Um, the blue one with the chick with the blonde hair, I think this is limited to 500 copies and this one's limited to 100 copies and um, 
Yeah, these things are very nice books. Nine eights, nine nines, tens. It's these these are up there. So those are books I'll probably be sending in. More than likely, I don't know, maybe not. I'm I'm running out of room for slabs. Um Yeah, keep those up because those are really nice looking books. Uh yeah, I'll keep going with these. I got my uncanny X-Men. Um an extraordinary X-Men. These are little smaller puzzles. Let's see, uh, they go together like that ish. I got these from Campbell's website. Or I guess yeah, they're exclusive to his website, so that makes sense. I got them in uh, black and white and in color. Put my hand up the book so you can see what's going on. Yeah, cool. All right, um, got my two ant books. This one I've had, I bought this book from Mario Gully. When you saw my uh, Mario Gully sketchbook, I got this one from him the same day. And uh, I've had it in my collection since a long time ago. But uh, yeah. I really want to get him to sketch me an ant on the back of this one. And then I got this one uh, not too long ago. These are pretty hard to find ant books. And they command a pretty decent premium. Um, Archie. It's another one of his male characters. You could pick this book up for like $3 or so. On uh, Midtown's website. Um, I got this set of Green Hornets. I got the uh, regular cover, which is a, uh, I think it's Kevin Smith's story. I got the uh, Green Hornet 1 in 50, it's either 1 in 50 or it's limited to 50. I think it might be limited to 50, the uh, sketch cover. And the Green Hornet, this is the green hollow foil cover. It's uh, this one actually has a certificate on the back, limited to 1,225 copies. Um, Secret Wars number nine, very cool Campbell cover. Get my face out of the uh, camera so we're focusing the book. Also Secret Wars number one. Yeah, this is gonna be a long video. I'm only halfway done. These are the books that I got from The Walking Jedi. Very happy to have these books. The Waking. This book, I think it was 1 in 250. And then there's only 250 copies of this one that exist. If I'm not mistaken. So it's real low print run Campbell books. Thank you Walking Jedi for these. I'm very happy to have these. Um, Mighty Avengers number two. Hey, Bob. Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. Where's Ashton, guys? Hi, I'm he's, back. He's down here with his popsicle shirt on. <laughs> How you doing, Bob? Good. Good. I thought you were done videoing, but... I'm halfway done. The, uh, Gwenpool holiday special. Try to get him to do the video with me, he was too tired. I got a Soul Fire book. Um, Soul Fire number four. Campbell cover from 04. A little variety of everything. Got a Vampirella crossover. This is like a pinup gallery ish type thing. Um, another Vampirella. Okay, see you, kid. I'm going to believe you in the video, sorry, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Night, kid. Uh, Vampirella. I bought this book. I should put this one on a Mylar, too. I bought this book from a comic book shop like two hours away. I was doing a job. I was at work. I was doing a job, and uh, my buddy of mine, that Danny, that started collecting comics with me, 
uh, he went with me and I bought this book for like 10 bucks and I think it's a lot more expensive this is the um, foil cover so I think it's a lot more expensive than the standard cover and it's a cool wraparound cover I'm gonna take this one out because I'm gonna put this one in a mylar so I'll have to pull this one out real quick it's got a uh, it's crazy doing the back as a stiff cover too it's in pretty good shape. It's got a uh, small dent at the top. I'm not sure if you can press this out or not because that's a uh, thick book. But when I bought this, it was in a uh, just a bag only. You know, in a, a long box at a comic book shop. So, yeah, that's a very cool cover. Yeah, it's not in perfect condition, but it's pretty close. Yeah, very cool. Very cool book. I'm pretty sure I paid like five or ten bucks for it. Um, another Vampirella book I bought recently. Very cool Campbell cover. And then I got the uh, Vampirella number one that's not so rare. Standard Vampirella cover. Very cool. This is my little Red Sonia run. Got that one at Daytona Beach. That's the uh, uh, one in a hundred Red Sonia book. Uh, number one, two, and three. Red Sonia set. This one I got from the show. Um, and the other ones I bought off the wall. So I'm happy to have those. And not overpaid to get them. Um, Star Wars. Campbell. I bid on the Princess Leia part. I think it's like a three book puzzle. I think one's Darth Vader. One's Princess Leia. And one is Star Wars. I think that's the set. Um, and I got outbid last night. Uh, Wildcat number one. Wildcat's number one. Got the uh, Captain America White. It's a very cool book. This is uh, one of my more expensive ones. This is my Venom number three. Campbell cover. I think uh, at one point when his book first came out, I tried to buy it from J. Scott Campbell's website, and I think he was asking 125. And then he took it down because uh, there was some kind of delay with production or something. And then he relisted them with very fines and near mints. And then the very fines were going for like 125, and then the near mints were going for 150. After he saw how much they were going for on eBay, I'm guessing I don't know. But uh, yeah, they came out very expensive, and uh, I think I paid 150 for this one without the signature. So I was very happy to have that. And this one is, uh, you know, probably 9899 or better. Very sharp copy. Um, another stack, geez. This is a puzzle, set of puzzles that I got. The uh, I'm not going to try and show the puzzle. I'll post a picture right in the middle. Right all over here. Right now. There it is, see the picture? <laughs> Anyways, I got the uh, Spider Gwen. I got the Silk. I got this. And the Spider Woman Alpha. And they make a pretty cool puzzle. Yeah. Um. Okay, these, I got three parts of the four-part puzzle. The Death of Wolverine. This is uh, number two. Missing number one. It's very unfortunate. I've been looking for a while. I see them pop up for like 40 bucks, which I paid like less than 10 for these three. So I feel like 40 bucks is a little high. 
but that's those three. So yeah, I'm keeping my eyes out. If I could find one for like 20 bucks or 30 bucks for a very crisp copy, I'll probably grab it. Um, Chaos number one. It's a very cool camel cover. Um, Deadpool Kills number one. This is like a, a spin off of the Siege cover. Siege is a very expensive Campbell book. That's probably the second most expensive book that I've seen from Campbell. I got another copy of the Bang Boat Jetpack Virgin. Another super crisp copy that's unslabbed. I got the uh, Southern Nightgown. Hard to find Campbell cover. This guy has the best artwork. I got the um, the Master Race book one Campbell cover. This one has a signature on it right there in gold. One of the very few books that I got signed by Campbell. Um, this one I bought from his booth at Megacon. And uh, I took it out of the bag. It's, it comes with that little hologram sticker. I took it out of the bag and put it in a Mylar and then put the sticker back on. So it kind of broke the hologram up a little bit. But I don't plan on selling it. So not a huge deal. Hopefully it's not a huge deal. I got Savage she hulks number one. This is a three-part puzzle. I'll just show you one at a time. I'll show you the picture of the puzzle right here. Right, right in the middle of this whole screen. You guys get the big puzzle. That's number one. That's number two. And that's number three. Number two, that is a very cool She-Hulk. I don't know what it is about She-Hulk, but that is a, that is a very cool cover. And Campbell does a very good She-Hulk. Okay, these are disappointing to me. My Jean Grey covers, these came, I don't think I posted an unboxing video for these. I think I was very busy that weekend. But I got uh, covers A, B, and C, and then you guys already know the story of me trying to get to MegaCon. And um, that's the sketch version of that Star Wars book. I don't know why I'm so badly out of order. But uh, this one is a lot more scarce than the other one. The other one is a one in fifty. This one is a very limited book and very hard to find. Um, Savage Wolverine, not a very expensive book, but definitely one of my favorite Campbell books. Get some crap on my Mylar here. My uh, Secret Empire number two. I don't know where my Secret Empire number one is at. Unless I already showed it. Yeah. You guys are going to see like 90% of my Campbell books. I didn't take any of my books out from the, um, I have the Daredevil, I think he's Daredevil number two. That's in my Daredevil box. I didn't pull that one out. I got a big set of Spider-Man books. I think like number 500 and, uh, there's another one from the Amazing Spider-Man. I brought 606 and 607. There's a couple of them from Amazing Spider-Man and then volume two. Spider-Man, like, like issue number 30 to 50, they had like a, a few Campbell covers. I got all those. Those are in my Spider-Man box. I didn't pull those out either. I got to find my Secret Empire number one. Uh, Rocket Raccoon. You guys heard me talking about this one for a little while. I finally got them. Both the sketch and the regular cover. 
Look at that cool Gamora. Ra Rocket Raccoon's expression. Yeah. You got a very cool concept of how he draws. I love this guy. Um, I got these two books. Man, that's a heavy book. Spider-Man, Magic Spider-Man number one, and Spider-Man 2099. These are part of a puzzle. I'm missing the middle book. I gotta figure out which one it is. But, uh, yep, yeah, I got those two. If I'm mistaken, I think it's a Superior Spider Man. Pretty cool Campbell books. Um, the Black Bat, he also did this book um, and some Virgin copies and other stuff like that. This book is only like three bucks. But, uh, it's a Campbell book. It's gotta be in my collection. Um, the Iron Fist books, the regular and the Venomized cover. I like the Venomized cover better. But, uh, Ven am I saying Venomized? The negative. I like the negative cover better. Sorry, this video's getting long. Um, Blindside. This is one of my more rare J. Scott Campbell books. Um, it's limited to a hundred. This is also another one that's got a signature. It's a cargo hold book, so it's got the uh, certificate of authenticity. The only way you can get this book is with a signature on it. Um, and it's numbered, this is number 47 out of a hundred. And I think if you go on cargo holds website or their eBay page, you can pick this book up for, if they're still available, for 20 bucks. So for a super limited um, Campbell book, like for example, this was limited to 100. This book is a $200 book from Campbell's website, or from J. Scott Campbell. And to send it out and get it graded, I see these books selling for like 500 bucks or more. So for 20 bucks, and it's got a signature, it's a no-brainer. I only have one. I'm not trying to hoard them. Um, Danger Girl. Got some more Danger Girl stuff that slipped through. This is the first Campbell book that I bought that has a signature on it. This came from Megacon in 1999. It was a long time ago. It was a 98 preview. And it's signed by uh, Hartnell and Campbell. Yeah, it was a cool dude. <sighs> long time ago. Another cool Danger Girl. Danger Girl number two. This is also available in a chromium cover but uh it's a cool camel book here's a my copy of number three without the signature on it and uh the other one's a preview book too so see this one says the 98 preview on it and that's actually the regular cover Um, Danger Girl number one. I saw my other copy in there somewhere. Danger Girl number four. These are all out of order. Danger Girl. This is a special issue. Pop it open. On the back side of the book, Arthur Danger Adams. And then you got the uh, Campbell. 
This doesn't really look like Campbell's style, but I think it's the uh, coloring that makes it look different. That's a book that I don't have yet. That uh, Joe Quesada Italian variant. I almost bought one, but it wasn't a near mint book. Yeah. Danger Girl Revolver. Very cool cover. Danger Girl number seven. Very nice cover. Look at the detail in that face. Danger Girl number six. You got I my... was here the whole time. Where are you? Yeah. Didn't you need me? No, you're sneaky. I was like this. Mighty Thor. I can't see you around the lights and then uh hunter killer now that I got all those out of the way I'm gonna go ahead and unbox this came from Italy this is the uh, peace day resistance to my collection you guys seen my some of my favorites. You guys seen the stuff that I don't have yet. This is a book. I've known about this book since I began collecting Campbell's artwork, but it says it came from Italy. It wasn't on my radar. And uh, for the last couple of years, I've been wanting to get a copy. One finally popped up. They pop up once every couple months on eBay. But I finally had a copy pop up that was worth bidding on. Near my copy, because this is hard to find. What's up? <clears throat> How much more do you have to do? I'm done, buddy. I threw this one. Yeah, what? so this is, it's hard to find in high grade. And uh, the last I checked, I checked a couple days ago. Careful, bubble. Um, last time I checked, I checked a couple days ago, and this book was. There's only 13 copies of it graded. I think there was two 9.8s or maybe three 9.8s, a 9.6 or a couple 9.6s, an 8 and an 8.5, and, and then a couple signature series of each one of those. Um, but here's my copy here. Cliffhanger number 12. Wow. This thing is crispy fresh. It's a thick book. Oh, I freaking love this thing. It's Campbell's artwork from 1999. I'm very happy to have this in my collection. I'm gonna put a mylar on this thing. And I may send it up to get graded. This thing looks like it'll be a 9.8. There's only one copy on eBay currently. Um, they're trying to get 5,000 for it. It's a 9.8 and it's a signature series. Mm, that looks cool. But uh, yep, this is the uh, this is the best copy that I got, or the best Campbell book that I got. And I'm very happy to have it. I've been wanting it for a while. I think it's awesome, right? Rick's Rock Campbell. Yep, J. Scott Campbell. I said Rick's Rocks Jamble. Rick's Rocks Jamble? <laughs> you know Rick's Rocks? You know Rick's Rocks? Who's that? There's nobody. I'm just making it up. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. See you later. That's my most expensive book. Actually, I think I paid less than 150 for this book. Bye, guys. See you, kid. See you in the next video. I bought this one from Campbell personally. It's $200. From his personal collection. I got this one from Italy but, for 150 so this By the way, in the next video, I'm going to be in the video the whole time, okay, guys? Whole time. Next time. You guys heard it straight from the source. So, yeah, 200 150 and then my Venom number three was also 150 so those are my most expensive. And then this was 100 So... Some of the slabs, slabs are 
Slabs don't count. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one. This was a long ass video. This is like almost an hour. So I don't blame me for fast forwarding through most of it. Thanks for watching. Love you. Have a good one.